we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you, and for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electric items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price, so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, uh, back with another episode today, but something a little bit more different. It's not a CEX roulette, it's not a boot sale pickup video, it is an eBay, an eBay deal. <laughs> um, really, really happy to, to be getting this. So I got it for what I think is quite a reasonable price. It's the first one of these that I've seen come up in an auction. Normally, in this condition, for buy it now, you're looking at anything from 150 up to about 190, 200 pounds, something like that. Um, I managed to get this for 107 pound plus postage. So I think all in all, it cost me about 110 pound. Now, I just wanna say shout out to you guys, um, as obviously the views have been going up loads and loads uh, over the last couple of months, obviously with the boot sale footage and everything. Um, and obviously, you know, I won't make, uh, you know too much about it but obviously i do get a little bit of money from youtube because of those views and obviously that money has gone towards uh, me helping to pay for this so i just want to say a thank you to everyone who um watches the channel and supports it's because of you guys that i'm able to to buy things like this off of ebay you know i'm, I'm not a rich man obviously all of this has been bought through cex credit buying and trading up um yeah, in C from boot sales, charity shops, into CEX. It's not that I can afford to normally go out and spend this kind of money on eBay. That was the whole reason that I got into doing this. So obviously, with the support of you guys, I'm able to make these purchases once in a blue moon for my collection. Um, so yeah, thank you. Now the reason I got this off of eBay is because you cannot get it um, in CEX. It's um, basically, for eagle-eyed viewers of my channel, you will see um, to the right of me here, but normally when I'm doing the boot sale footage, obviously the camera's around the other way, I've got a couple of um, the G45, uh, or G-Con 45, should we say, uh, guns for the PlayStation 1. At the moment, I've got Time Crisis, uh, Point Blank, and Time Crisis Project Titan. There are two others that I need to get, um, and this is one of them. So without further ado, we'll flip the cameras and we'll open it together. So yeah, as you can see, come nice and packaged. Um, obviously it did have a label on there, but I've ripped that off. I wanna be a bit careful with this because it is cardboard and I don't want any tape to be caught uh, onto the cardboard and rip it off. But it looks like it's wrapped in bubble wrap, so yes. So for anyone who knows PlayStation 1 and how many types of guns there are, they probably can guess what one this is already, but it is, if I can open it up, Ghoul Panic. So yeah, as you can see, in very, very good condition. For, for a box this age, um, it's probably in better condition than my Time Crisis Project Titan, although that did only cost me maybe like 40 or 30 pounds. I was quite annoyed about that because, although saying that, that's that was squashed down there and I'm sure that wasn't squashed in um, in the footage before. I mean, it is a bit stupid, you know, sending something like this, 110 pound, and they've sent it in, a, in, a, in bubble wrap. They couldn't even put it in a box. So yeah, I do think that that has maybe got squashed in the post. Ah, oh, it's annoying, because it was in really, really good condition. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'm trying to straighten it out a little bit. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll make a claim, try and get a little bit of a refund back. But yeah, that's frustrating. Because honestly, in the pictures, um, it was immaculate. Obviously, you've got a couple of scuffs here and there, but that, that was not there as, as far as I can tell. I will be looking again. But yeah, this is uh, Ghoul Panic um, on the PlayStation 1. It's a game I've never played before. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to hook this up and uh, play it because I have one of the few CRT TVs uh, that doesn't allow uh, the, the G-Con gun to work with it as they're 100 megahertz, I believe. Uh, but let me open it up. So yeah, nice and complete. The game itself look, is, is immaculate. Obviously the manual's there as well. 
disc is in brilliant condition. The manual was in brilliant condition. Oh, it's got another little insert with it, that's why. There we go. Coming soon, rescue shot. See, now that's a game that I didn't know about, so maybe that's one to look out for as well. I wonder if uh, that come with a, a light gun. But as far as I'm aware, there are only five game variants of the uh, G-Con. You've got Time Crisis, Time Crisis Project Titan, Point Blank 1 and 2, and this game. Um, but yes, yeah, I mean, like I say, it's, it's in such good condition in the, uh, in the uh, what's it called, the pictures. Obviously, it's got all the original inserts. Um, if I can get this open, and that bit comes out. Because I've, I've seen, I think there's one of these for sale on uh, eBay at the moment for like 130, 140 quid. And it's literally just got the gun in the box there and the game with it. So to get this for 107 pound, but yeah, like, as you can see, Obviously, I'm not going to take it all out, but it's all in its original baggies. Such a shame. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit disappointed with um, with the, how they've how they've sent this, and the fact that you know, it's a, if anyone who who has got this will know that it's a, something that's worth money. The person who's buying this is obviously a collector. So for them to send it in bubble wrap and brown paper bag, it's a bit of a liberty, to be honest. Let me know in the comments um, how, how you would deal with it, but I'm kind of inclined to maybe put a little compensation claim through, try and get a bit of money off. I don't know, is it worth doing? But yeah, such, such a, such a shame, because apart from that, well, I mean, obviously, if it, if it wasn't like that, as, as you can see, there was these little bits of scuffs around there, but if you can imagine what it was like on them three corners, that's what it was like there as well. But, you know, I'm splitting hairs. It is in really good condition. It's just obviously, I'm disappointed with, with how they've sent it. But that is, I suppose, the eBay roulette side of things. You know, you're taking a chance and then posting it. But I just can't believe that someone would have this in their collection, parcel it and think, yeah, wrapping it in a bit of bubble wrap and brown, tape, brown paper's all right. I mean, in hindsight, I, I thought it was all right, but I thought it might have been in a box inside a box if that makes sense um but yeah that's enough moaning for now another one to add to the collection just a quick video like i say and i know a couple of people mentioned before when i didn't open up the time crisis um project titan one on camera people saying no, i don't remember you opening that so i thought i'd you know do a little quick video open it up for you guys to see um so yeah get it into the collection but yes thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video take care and i'll see you all in the next one